Have you ever wondered what it's like to hunt in the wilds of Africa? Picture this. You're immersed in a vast, untamed wilderness, every sense heightened. The air is thick with the scent of raw earth and distant rain. The only sounds are the whispers of the wind and the distant calls of wild creatures. This is Africa, a land of enchanting mystery and untamed beauty. Here, the rhythm of life beats to a primal drum, and every day is a dance between predator and prey. Hunting isn't just a sport or a pastime. It's a way to connect with the earth, to test your mettle against the raw power of nature. It's about respect, understanding, and survival. We're going to take you on a thrilling, heart-pounding journey into the heart of Africa's wild kingdom. You'll experience the adrenaline rush of the hunt, the thrill of the chase, and the profound respect for the circle of life. So, are you ready to dive into the heart of Africa? Let's embark on this exciting journey. Scene script. Any thrilling adventure demands careful preparation, and hunting in the African wild is no exception. The first step in such an endeavor is choosing the right equipment. This isn't just about picking a firearm. It's about selecting the right attire, the correct camping gear, and the essential survival tools. You see, hunting is not a simple game of chase. It's a test of endurance, patience, and survival skills. Every piece of your gear should be chosen with these elements in mind. The firearm is, of course, a crucial part of the equipment. Choose one that suits your skill level, the type of game you're after, and the terrain you'll be navigating. But remember, a firearm is only as good as the person wielding it. So practice, practice, and then practice some more. Next, it's time to study the hunting ground, the vast and diverse African terrain. From the dense forests to the wide open savannas, each terrain poses its unique challenges and opportunities. Understanding the terrain is key to anticipating the movements and habits of the game. A good hunter is one who can read the land like a book. And speaking of the game, studying their behavior is another crucial part of the preparation. Know the animal's habits, their feeding and watering times, their migration patterns, and their mating seasons. This knowledge can give you a significant edge in the hunt. It can mean the difference between a successful hunt and a fruitless chase. But let's not forget, hunting isn't merely about the thrill of the chase or the catch. It's about respecting the wild and its inhabitants. It's about understanding the delicate balance of nature and our place in it. So, while you prepare for the hunt, remember, you are not just a hunter. You are a guest in the wild. With preparations out of the way, it's time to step into the wild. As we step into the wild, the real adventure begins. The air is a cocktail of raw earth, blooming flora, and the lingering musk of the creatures that call this wild expanse home. It's a scent as old as time itself, yet every breath feels new, filled with anticipation and a primal thrill. We tread lightly, respecting the rhythm of this untouched land. Every rustle of leaves, every whispering wind carries a story, a secret of the wild. We listen, we observe, we blend. It's a game of patience and respect. We're not just visitors here, we're participants in a primal dance that predates us and will continue long after we're gone. The sun, our eternal compass, casts long shadows that dance on the canvas of the African wilderness. It's a spectacle of light and life, a theater of survival. Every creature from the tiniest insect to the grandest of beasts plays a part in this symphony of existence. And then, our hearts skip a beat. We spot our first game. A majestic creature, powerful yet graceful. It's an exhilarating moment, a testament to the circle of life. The thrill isn't just in the chase, it's in the connection, the understanding that we're all part of the same story, the same wild pageant of life and death. We ready ourselves, not with aggression, but with reverence for the beast that stands before us. It's a moment frozen in time, a silent conversation between hunter and hunted. It's not about dominating the wild, but becoming a part of it, understanding it, respecting it. The wind holds its breath, the leaves fall silent, and the world seems to pause. And then, with a burst of energy, the chase begins. It's a dance as old as time, a test of skill, strategy, and survival. The chase is on. Let's see where it leads us. In the wild, the chase is as thrilling as the catch. The chase, an intricate dance of predator and prey, is a spectacle that unfolds in the heart of the wild.
It's a game of patience, skill, and above all, survival. As our hunter slowly closes in on the game, each footstep is meticulously calculated, a silent whisper against the rustling leaves. The hunter, a figure of determination, matches the rhythm of the wild, his breath sinking with the gentle breeze that carries the scent of his prey. The landscape challenges with its uneven terrain and dense undergrowth, making each step a test of endurance. But the thrill of the chase, the adrenaline rush, fuels the hunter, pushing him forward. He navigates the wild with a precision that can only come from years of experience, understanding its language, its signs. Close calls are a part of this thrilling dance. The prey spooks, a rustle in the bushes, a snap of a twig underfoot, and the hunter's heart skips a beat. But he's quick to recover, adapting to the sudden changes, using them to his advantage. The chase is not just about speed, it's also about strategy. The predator must anticipate the prey's next move, predict its path, its decisions. It's a high-stakes chess match played out amidst the canvas of the wild. The hunter's eyes, sharp and focused, never leave his target, his mind constantly calculating the distance, the wind direction, the perfect moment to strike. The chase is a test of wills, a testament to the primal instincts that lie dormant within us. It's a reminder of our connection to the wild, to the raw, unfiltered beauty of nature. The hunter, in his pursuit, becomes a part of the wild, blurring the lines between man and beast. The chase has led us here, at the edge of anticipation. The hunter, the prey, and the wild, all intertwined in this dance of survival. The question remains, will we make the catch? The answer lies ahead, in the heart of the wild. The moment of truth is here. Will the hunt be successful? As the anticipation mounts, so does the realization that the outcome is not always in our control. Sometimes, despite our best efforts, the target may elude us. But then there are times when we triumph, when we successfully catch our quarry. The thrill of those moments, when we face our prey eye to eye, is something that can't be put into words. It's a mixture of exhilaration, respect, and the profound realization of our place in the grand scheme of nature. In the wilds of Africa, every hunt is a lesson, a story that unfolds in its own unique way. It's not just about the catch, it's about the journey, the chase, the strategy, and the patience. It's about understanding the rhythm of the wilderness, the patterns of the animals we pursue, and the balance that nature always maintains. There's a certain respect that comes with hunting. It's a respect for the animals we hunt, for their strength, their instincts, and their will to survive. It's a respect for nature, for its beauty, its harshness, and its unforgiving reality. It's a respect for the circle of life and our role within it. Then there's the thrill of the chase, the adrenaline rush as we track our prey, the quiet anticipation as we wait for the perfect moment, the heartbeat that echoes in our ears as we take the shot. It's a thrill that's hard to match, a thrill that keeps us coming back for more. But perhaps the most important lesson we learn from hunting is understanding wildlife. It's not enough to know how to shoot. We must also learn how to observe how to understand, and how to respect. We learn about the animals' habitats, their behaviors, their survival strategies. We learn about the delicate balance of the ecosystem, the interconnectedness of all life, and the importance of conservation. And lastly, we learn about ourselves. Hunting pushes us to our limits, tests our patience, our endurance, our courage. It teaches us to be humble, to be persistent, to be respectful, it teaches us to appreciate the simple things, the quiet moments, the beauty of nature. A successful catch is a moment of triumph, a testament to our skills, our patience, and our understanding of nature. But a near miss is not a failure. It's a lesson, a reminder of the unpredictability of nature, and an invitation to try again, to learn more, to do better. Whether it's the thrill of the chase or the joy of the catch, Hunting in the wilds of Africa is an adventure like no other. 